so today's video is on a gyroscope and in this short video today I'll just show you the what a gyroscope looks like what are its three degrees of freedom of movement and I'll just show you the property of precession what do we mean by the precession of the gyroscope that's it then in my next video I'll show you more on the gyroscope and how the uh, gyroscope compensates for the movements of drift and tilt all right so please watch my previous videos that i have made on gyro compass as well i have given the links in the description section below and all together you should watch all the videos to get a good understanding of the gyroscope and a resulting gyro compass so gyroscope or the principle of a gyroscope is used to make a gyro compass uh, and basically what this means is uh, it takes the properties of a gyroscope to convert it into a gyro compass uh, so before we get into all that I will show you the three degrees of freedom of movement of a gyroscope so basically the first degree of freedom of movement is the spin axis you can see the steel the drum here that is rotating it's rotating about a steel axis it has an axis uh, stainless steel axis this is the spin axis this is called the spin axis this is the first degree of freedom of movement the second degree of movement is about the vertical plane okay this is called the tilt tilt of a gyroscope so this is the movement about a vertical axis this is the second degree of freedom of movement the third degree of freedom of movement is in the horizontal axis so this is called drift when the gyroscope moves on the horizontal axis it's called drift so this is the third degree of freedom so we have the spin axis and we have the tilt and we have the drift so movement about the spin axis vertical plane and horizontal plane all right so now normally what would happen is if i spin this gyroscope and once it gains its maximum rpm and i make it point towards a particular direction it should remain pointing in the direction of course depending on the mass of this rotor it has to gain the maximum rpm that's called the principle of angular momentum it has to gain its maximum rpm based on the mass of the rotor so the more the bigger the mass the more will be the rpm the gyroscope has a gyro compass has a different mass of a gyro rotor so depending on the mass of the gyro rotor it has to gain a, a sufficient rpm the rpm is about 30 or 1000 rpm uh, between 30 to 60000 depending on the mass of the rotor now the principle of the angular momentum or the principle of gyroscopic inertia says that if i spin this and once this gyroscopic inertia this gyroscope gains its maximum rpm based on the mass of its rotor and i make it point towards one direction it should keep pointing in that direction but it doesn't do so you can see why because the earth on which the gyroscope is kept is moving slowly from west to east and that has an impact on the movement of the gyroscope as well that's why the principle of inertia doesn't hold true in this case because if i make it point in one direction there is a force there is a gravitation force there is the earth's coriolis force and then of course the movement of the earth below the gyroscope because we are using the gyroscope on the earth's axis that has an impact and the gyroscope doesn't point in one direction it drifts out of its axis or sometimes even tilts out of its axis so that is the basic properties of the gyroscope now there's another property of the gyroscope called precession now what is precession precession means if i apply a force in one direction on the axis of the gyroscope the gyroscope moves in the direction 90 degree away from the direction of the force so if i apply a force in this direction the gyroscope you can see is moving away and this movement is about 90 degrees in the direction of the force so if i apply it this way it goes 90 degree away if i apply it this way or this way here so you can see it's going 90 degree away from me so this is the property of precession precession is a property or directional property where if you apply a force in one direction the gyroscope axis precesses what we say is precesses 90 degrees away from the direction of the force so if it's this way it goes this way if it goes this way it goes this way and if I process it this way, it will go down or up. Alright, so uh, today I thought I will show you this basic video first before I go deep into how the gyroscope is compensated for the drift and tilt, why it doesn't initially stay pointing in one direction, how we can make it do so and I will go deep into that in my future videos. So bye for now guys.